everyone and welcome back to Amity Blue. My name is Nazzy and today we are going to be working on the pocketbook of verse. I love poetry. I think it's art in written form and I wanted to create a book that complements it. So this is my little pocketbook of verse and I just create kind of like my art journal but I like to collage in here. So I was very inspired by Miss Nick the Booksmith. If you're unfamiliar with Nick the Booksmith, she is an amazing artist. She creates junk journals. She has digital kits in her Etsy shop. She sells amazing junk journals that look like these, just really old books that have a special theme and have their own history to it. Her YouTube is called Nick the Booksmith, as well as her Instagram. I will link them both below in the description. Please check them out and show her some love. All of her journals have a specific theme that are... Um, that are related to a historical time period, which is just, it's beautiful and it's art. And the, her pages are beautifully created. She um, uses things such as cheesecloth. She adds some like written phrases from books and distresses the outside to make it look as if it's burned. And one of the most unique things that I found about her journals is that she scans old letters, old vintage letters, and she includes them in her journals, which is, you have a piece of historical, you have a piece of history, you know, in your journal. And it, it's those little things that make her journals so amazing. So please show her some love and check her out. She inspired me greatly and got me out of my journal funk. <laughs> so let me begin. So these are the kind of things that I want to be using, the kind of things that she kind of uses. Um, of course, I for me, it's the, the typewriter font. I love it. Some things from Daphne's diary. An old little piece of a vintage paper that I ripped out. Some twine. This, <laughs> it's, I don't have cheesecloth. I don't know where I can get cheesecloth. I went to the supermarket. I went to Hobby Lobby. It's probably there. But I'm very impatient. And if I can't find it in the first five minutes, then I just give up. <laughs> So this is an old piece of like fabric of cloth that I had lying around and it looks like cheesecloth so we're gonna go with that. <laughs> but I love the cheesecloth in her journals and then this is just something that I was playing with the other day. Um, I just decoupaged a clear or this really thin napkin and then I added some sheer ribbon to it and stitched it. And I just have paper scraps, stamps, a lot of things, fabric that I'm going to use to decorate this page. Um, something else that I want to use is in this old book. As you can see, this book is super old. It's from 1828, I believe. And here, my mom actually, when I tea dyed my papers a couple days ago, she saved the tea bags. And I'm not sure if you can tell. Let's grab a white piece of paper so that you can see. But once they dry, they leave this beautiful texture. And so we're gonna use that in here. So thank you, mommy. <laughs> amazing idea and then she also figured out how to make this written words from a book onto tape so it's kind of like your own washi let me know if you're interested in knowing how she did this I can film a tutorial on it and I'm gonna try to see if you can do this with other images because maybe you can make your own washi tape which would be so much fun the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna need to find a verse so let's see, let's see, let's see. Michael Drayton loves farewell. Since there's no help, come let us kiss and part. Nay, I have done, you get no more of me. God, oh. Shake hands forever, cancel all our vows. Oh, I guess this is not. This is a love's farewell. <laughs> kind of the opposite of falling in love. So let's keep moving. <laughs> oh, Mistress Mine. Oh, I kind of like this. Oh, Mistress Mine, where are you roaming? Oh, stay in here. You true love's coming. I kind of like this because it talks about music, lovers, mistress. So this is the quote that I chose. It's called Oh, Mistress Mine. So you guys can read it and you can kind of see the theme I'm going for. So it's a mistress and I think it's a love poem of a mistress. So mistresses... Um, they weren't really rich, so obviously that reminds me of the cheesecloth and like not really fancy dresses. I think like using the sheer ribbon looks kind of romantic. It says that can sing both high and low. That reminds me of this, the music paper. So singing, and then this kind of looks like a love letter, so I'll use that. 
maybe some of this, some little twine. So yeah, and then maybe here. Well, these don't really look like mistresses, do they? <laughs> Uh, I kind of want to use it though. I'll use it. and Maybe I can find another image to cover the top. So now that I have all my stuff, let's start creating. I already cut some paper that I wanted to do. Let me glue it onto here. Yeah. There we go. All right. So there we go. So I know for a fact I want to make this into like a pocket. It doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously there's a little bit missing. Um, I kind of want to use my washi. Where did my washi go? Oh, right here. I kind of want to use my washi. If I can find where the washi begins. <laughs> where is it? Alright. There we go. So I kind of want to do like that much. So we'll just do that right there. And then this, I make a pocket out of that. Well, I make my pockets with double-sided tape, so... Yeah. Oh my god! Ah. Oh, good heavens. I just thank you. Light, getting lightheaded. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I can fix this. So I put the pocket on the wrong side. Goodness. Ah, and then I don't have any nails to like hold it down. There we go. Thank you, scissors. Thank you, little scissors. Okie dokie. So, so we have an easy little pocket now that we can put stuff in. Perfect. Now we're going to work on this side. I kind of like this right here. No, it'll be like this, actually. Because we're going to take this. It ties in the red from the stitching with the red from the label. Put that there. What if we... I'm just going to rip... cloth hold on hold on hold on like we can stitch that we can stitch that I kind of like that let me just tear that off I kind of like that maybe it just it'll be straight <laughs> and then maybe on the bottom we can Yes, this is perfect because it says my baby dearest. I think this is good. Definitely want to incorporate some of this cheesecloth. So let me cut a little bit off. Let me begin to like stretch it so that it forms. I love how I'm calling it cheesecloth even though it's not. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, oh, it's okay. No need, no need to fret. It looks even better. <laughs> I know I am. I know I am going to use this, like, to cover this up and include that there. Because it's a mistress, because we don't know who she is, so we're going to cover up the frame. Oh, yeah, that'll be glued onto the top. All right, so I just stitched... The top over here in the bottom and I was have this like distress ink the tea dye and I want to just make it look just like a little bit older probably should have done this <laughs> before I went to stitch it but oh well you know this is how you learn I might do some over here too just just to make it a little bit more brown there we go that is beautiful. I really like how that is looking. I also have this one, which is vintage photo. I haven't used it yet, so let's see. Ooh, this is nice. So this is this is a great way to give maybe your give more 
um, more color, more of that vintage color to your pages. There we go. So I'm just doing it on the corners just because I really like that little ombre effect before I glue that on. <laughs> I say I'm going to stop, but here I go again. <laughs> now that we've got that done, let me go ahead. Ooh, look at the back. Oh, the back is so pretty. But we did the front. I might have to replicate this and put it in a journal because it's absolutely beautiful. Like make a little pocket out of it. This would be so cute. I really like how this is looking so far. Because it's a mistress, remember, we don't know what the mistress looks like. So... So I have this lovely vintage frame from Daphne's diary that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to trim it and it covers up the frame. Very, very pretty, very pretty. I kind of want to stitch it too. Should we do it like that? Yeah, because then it comes. Or should we do it all, all green? Should we do it all green, you guys? What should we do? Should we do it all green or should we do this? We should do this because then it brings in the tan corners of everything else. You gotta remember to include all your colors. You know, well, I might cover up these eggs because the eggs have nothing to do with what, you know, with what we're we're trying to say. So, might do that and then probably over the top of the frame, I might make the cheesecloth come out of it. Should I put it on the top? What are you what are what are you guys thinking here? What do you think I should do? Or should I start with a new one and just kinda put it in the back and then make it frilly? I like that. Okay, we're gonna do that. And then we're just going to make it nice and and frilly. Please check Nick's. Um, Nick the booksmith's way of using cheesecloth because it looks a lot better <laughs> but I love it I'm gonna use it for my journals because it just it's beautiful I went ahead and stitched it it looks absolutely beautiful so pretty <laughs> I love it so on here um, I should have used my cream stitching. I have some um, cream stitching, but the white, the white works fine. Um, because this is about the mistress, I'm going to put the title. I'm just gonna glue it. Very simple. Oh, mistress mine. All right, so I have this little button here that I think is perfect, and I also found this little thumbtack from a Daphne's diary that I think is perfect. That I might just glue there but we're gonna make our own little button so let me grab my acrylic block let's see how it looks over here it's a little smudgy hmm. i don't know let's do the stays on i know what stays on i don't know why but the stamps just look a lot more just more clean cut you know what i mean see the button it's a little bit more clean cut with the distress inks, they're always a little smudgy. And if it's because of me, please let me know if I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> or any of you like me and don't, you don't talk <laughs> while you're cutting something really tiny. Because I am like that and it's still a little crooked, but that is okay. Maybe we can put it alongside here and that kind of brings it down. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Because we're putting it behind the sheer ribbon, it brings down like the really, like you can obviously tell that it's a stamp. I mean, obviously, maybe, maybe not through camera, but in person you can. I could put it right there, but then it's just too much. In this area, we need something to bring it, bring our eyes to this area over here. And so this we're gonna glue on. We're gonna glue that on. Or should I do, no, it's gonna fall out. <laughs> I was like, maybe it can be like a little tech spot, but no, it's gonna fall. Now that we've got that there, that's there. Underneath here, it needs something. Let's do just half of it. 
we're going to simply press it down, press this over. So I didn't use this washi, but I think it's a little bit too much because we already have a lot of words going on. So now this. I don't want to disrupt from this. You know, I want it to be kind of secretive. So kind of with like what I did here with like the pocket of the fairy, that same idea. So I'm going to, there's just the back of some scrapbook paper. All I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to cut it a little bit. We're just going to glue it right on here. It doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. We're going to do this one as well. Same thing. So we have our two pieces of paper. Now it's time. <laughs> let's use this. This was where I was doing it. So let's grab our distress ink. This little doohickey. And, ooh, that was really strong. For some people, they make it so smooth, and I still, as you can see, I still get those, like, the little brush strokes. I don't know why. So, this is why I prefer um, tea dyeing my pages to get this kind of effect. Because I'm just, I'm not the greatest at this, sadly. Please leave me any tips you might have. Because I still, last time this was still the same problem with like one of my process videos is that I can't get it to look. I mean it looks alright. <laughs> it could be a lot worse. So let's just get some of it here. Alright, so I have my little pieces of paper where I put my quote on. I am going to use a little twine and kind of make it like a tag. I'm gonna reinforce it before I do this. Let me darken it up even more so that it looks even more vintage. There we go. All right, <laughs> making a mess. <laughs> so I darken it up. Here's Here it is, the little dot. Apply some glue. We're just going to add it in this little corner right here. Add it in the corner, like right there. And then we're going to take our hole punch. I'm going to find a smaller hole punch too. So there we go, so it's more like a tag. We're just going to do this little doohickey. All right, and we're just going to intertwine it. Does that look weird? I hope not. <laughs> I like it. You know, as long as you like it, that's the important part. And you also want to add a little reinforcement so that when you do tie it, it doesn't tear through the paper since it's a little bit more old. So there we go. So that is that. Pop it in. And you guys, I think I am done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't all over the place. All right, I should just be done now, right? Or should I add some more stamping? I have these stamps that I kind of wanted to try out a little. No, I think we'll, well, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> all right, so let me get my stays on. I'm just gonna do over here, like this little section here. And then, ah. Uh, might look weird. Doesn't that look cool? Just on the side there. So I think I am done. I really like how this page turned out. Um, I incorporated, you know, everything that inspired me from the poem is incorporated here. I love it. I think this is one of my most favorite pages so far. All I have to do is, is just go and round the corners and then I will be done. So I hope you guys liked it. Um, I will show you a close up at the end of the video and I hope this inspired you. You know, you don't have to have a little pocketbook of verse. You know, you can do this in whatever notebook you have. You know, just one day, 
just bring out your materials and have fun you know collage something beautiful on a page so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys have a wonderful day filled with peace and love bye bye mm -hmm.